Despite the recent news about Blake, there's no doubt in my mind that she's thriving. I mean, I'm pretty sure she never has to star in a movie or TV show again, and she can still live life very comfortably. This is how rich Blake Lively actually is. At the age of 10, Blake Lively made her feature debut under her father's direction in the 1998 film Sandman. When Lively was cast as Bridget Vreeland in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants in 2005, it became her breakthrough role. The film went on to make over $42 million dollars worldwide and launched Lively's career as a promising young actor. Hey. What, honey? What is it? What is it? In the CW adolescent drama Gossip Girl, Lively landed the role that would propel her to global fame in 2007, Serena Vander Woodson. The show, which was based on the well-known book series, became an international phenomenon and Lively gained notoriety for her portrayal of the glitzy and nuanced Serena. And I don't want anyone else. I want you. Gossip Girl paid Lively $60,000 each episode at the end of its six season run. With 121 episodes broadcast, the show's total revenue comes to almost $7.3 million for her. Lively's film debut, which built on her broad recognition from television, was a lesson in artistic development. Masterfully embracing complex characters in a wide range of genres, critics appreciated her performance in Ben Affleck's crime film, The Town, in which she starred. Lively and Ryan Reynolds co-starred in the superhero hero movie Green Lantern in 2011, which brought in close to $220 million worldwide at the box office, even though reviewers mostly ignored it. Her performance in the romantic film The Age of Adeline, which brought approximately $65 million worldwide, brought her even more recognition. The mystery thriller A Simple Favor, which made $97 million on a $20 million budget, showcased Lively's versatility. Blake took on a new creative challenge when she co-wrote and directed the music video for Taylor Swift's song I Bet You Think About Me, which features Chris Stapleton. I bet you think about me. In 2024, Lively and her husband, Ryan Reynolds, collaborated on two separate film projects. She portrayed the beloved Lady Deadpool in Marvel Studios' Deadpool and Wolverine, and provided the voice of Octopus in the fantasy comedy drama film, If. She also portrayed Lily Bloom, the main character, in the movie version of Colleen Hoover's book, It Ends With Us. Blake Lively has used a number of high-profile international partnerships to harness her Hollywood popularity and establish a formidable entrepreneurial presence. As the face of L'Oreal in 2013, she brought attention to her influence in the cosmetic business. Additionally, she worked with Gucci, appearing in their Chime for Change ad. According to reports, Lively received $4 million for a two-year Gucci contract. Lively introduced Preserve, a handcrafted and unique e-commerce platform and digital magazine in 2014. Despite the site's final closure, she moved on to her next project and introduced the Betty Buzz brand of drink mixers in 2021. Building on this triumph, she launched a line of bottled beverages called Betty Booze in 2023. Blake Brown, a high-end hair care line that Lively introduced in 2024, attracted attention for the right reasons for its well-chosen product lineup. To meet different hair care needs, the collection comprises two shampoos with matching treatment masks, a mousse, a pre-shampoo mask, a dry shampoo, and a leave-in conditioner. Although Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds are well-known to own two stunning homes, their Pound Ridge primary estate, and an apartment in Tribeca, it's possible that they own other properties together as well. It wouldn't be surprising if Reynolds and Lively have other real estate holdings given their wealth and preference for seclusion. The couple paid $2.35 million for a lovely country house in Bedford, New York in 2012. Situated on 1.8 acres, the estate boasts 4,753 square feet of living space as well as a stone terrace with views of tranquil bodies of water. But they chose to sell the larger and more private Pound Ridge estate instead and did so for $2.495 million a year later. After spending $5.7 million on an 11.65 acre home in Poundridge, New York, the couple upgraded to a larger estate. Constructed in 1860, this ancient house provides large grounds and a private feel, making it a perfect getaway from the limelight. The property is currently valued at over $6 million, having increased in value over time. The couple also owns an opulent Tribeca loft, however it's unclear how much their home costs. 
Comparable apartments in the same upscale building have been listed for prices ranging from $6 million to $49 million. A full-time doorman, an indoor pool, a private parking garage, a premium fitness center, and a landscaped rooftop deck are just a few of the property's luxurious features. The pair also owns a townhouse in Manhattan that they periodically rent out, with an estimated value of $7.5 million. What do you guys think of her wealth? Let us know in the comments, and we hope you have a great day. Peace out.